I scream at the top of my streams of consciousness that occupies my mind when your lyrics throw waves to my thoughts. I'm writing to you today to ask you, how do I forget you? You see, we may never get this chance to go beyond these local battles we played the rolling off our tongues, the innuendo song. You see, I was his natural beauty. This is how this story really began. He was the flow behind my pen, the penetration behind my words, the flawless perfection behind my diction when I wrote about him, I am she, which flowed into when he whispered my name, I would answer him in dreams, but it seems that you inspire me to be the best me. Watching these emotions float my boat poetically, metaphors join swords before they actually got the gist or heard the words like, when you stop not too far away from me, I forgot that I was to ignore you. Twitting my fingers trying to occupy my mind, but they seem to be telling me something. Did you feel that? It was a sort of stirring in my stomach like honey in the bottom of a cup, that perfect cup of tea steeped right naturally. From the bottom up, he stirred me. See, I wasn't used to being stirred like this or held hostage but on words, so let me spice it up for you just a little. I see, I love the way he says poetess. And the way he smiles, his strawberry kisses on my dreamscape. Poetry was my escape, so I get to relate or even exaggerate these butterflies. Or flow this case flow. Dear poet, I wanted to explore the land where these words came from. I wanted to be the metaphors rolling off your tongue, the fire behind your pen, the essence seduction, the fire, sitting in the corner sucking my thumb wondering what just happened. I wanted you to school me, put pencil to pad and draw me as a fraction. I wanted you to dominate to cross my equator, move mountains, part seas to sip those words from your lips. I must admit that, lyrically speaking, I wanted you to plead the fifth so I could take it further than the first kiss and pass the confessions of my soul. See, I wanted to do time with you and I didn't mean jail. I was being the truth, needed no alibi, but I wanted a reply. Dear poet, this ambush of words I'm feeling was residual of that one night where the first poem took flight that tapped into the you and I mystery where I see the influence of poetry like the writing on the wall. Dear poet, please release me. Sincerely, poetry. Yeah. Thank you.